Hey there boys and girls, Lucky Skill Flaggy here and welcome back to another CSGO tutorial for you guys. Today I will try to help you guys with peaking. I will tell you what kinds of styles of peaks there are and when you should use them. But first and foremost, let's start with the actual action of peaking and how to do it. So, actually it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have like an object of cover, you just peek and fire. That's peaking. There's not much else to it. Or is there? So the thing that you want to do Let's say you're a CT, like I'm right here, and you want to peek a guy right there with an AWP, probably. Because, guy, whoops, guys in pit usually have AWPs and they're just sitting here waiting for you to peek. What you're doing now that might actually not help you is being really close to the wall and running out like this and trying to fire at him. The thing is, if you're really close to the wall, when you're moving out like this, your elbow will come out first this means you will expose yourself before you're actually able to see the enemy in pit right here. This of course means for him, he will be able to see you, or better said your elbow, first before you're actually out. So every time you're actually peeking in order to shoot someone, like the boxes right there, because they're very dangerous, you want to be as far away from your object of cover as possible, because like this you're minimizing the the, the distance between your elbow or the side of your body and the middle of your body, better said your head, with your uh, the, the thing you're looking with. So if you're peeking very far like this, you're actually able to reduce the distance between your side of the body and the middle of your body, which again means that, uh, let me just show you, let's see, like this guy, if we're just putting two bots right here, whoops, and here, Someone who can turn around, maybe? Yeah, like this. If we look at them now, you can see that right here, the distance from his arm to his head is about the size of my crosshair. Right here, it's a lot smaller. It's basically just one or two pixels. So keep in mind, every time you peek, stay as far away from the wall as possible in order to reduce your size for the enemy so you're harder to hit and make it kind of more even. However, this right here, can still be useful. This will be our first thing called be uh, called shoulder peeking. Shoulder peeking is there to bait out an opera. So what you want to do is basically just go out really quickly, show your shoulder, and do it like this. You want to have a certain timing so he's not able to shoot you. And usually what an opera will do, he will be in pit. Where's the op? Right here, and just hold this angle. So as soon as you're peeking with your arm and going back in, usually the reaction time of a decent player might not be enough. And so he will just have it like right here, or even if he knows he has not the best reaction, he will put a little out like this. So what he'll do, he'll fire a shot, and if he does, you know, okay, there's an opera, so I'm making sure I'm not going there or anywhere else close there. And you're actually gathering information. Why can I not buy M4s anymore? Give me my M4 back. So this is used... Um, as a peeking technique, not to kill, but to gain information. So you want to bait out an opera. It's not guaranteed that he'll shoot, but if you're trying it a couple of times, you might actually be able to find out if there's someone there or not. Also, if you're doing it correctly, you'll make no sound at all, because you're just basically stepping on one, uh, on one spot, like this right here, which makes it even harder for the opera to hit you. The next thing we would have is jiggle peeking. Jiggle peeking is very common uh, with pre-firing. So for example, if you jiggle peek out right here and you want to pre-fire this spot, you usually go like this and just do it like that. The thing is with jiggle peeking, you're kind of making yourself a, a harder target to hit because you're already pre-firing certain spots of the map. So you've, you know someone's often there, someone's often there, I far peeked a little bit, but just like this. With the jiggle peeking, you can, if you want, also gather information just by being a little bit further from the wall and just peeking like, okay, is there someone, is there someone, and just get some info. Or you can combine it with pre-fire to get to certain spots right here to basically clear them out. It's, it's another way of gaining map control. So jiggle peeking should be um, combined with pre-aiming and pre-firing if you actually want to get to the side. If you're just there to gather some information, or maybe even bait out an opera, but again, shoulder peeking is better for that, um, you can also do it like that. Another thing that you can do now is wide peeking. Wide peeking is actually a thing that you should only do with a teammate. So let's say right here there's a um, CT holding um, here the A, 
bombsite and he's just waiting for you to peek out like this. What you want to do now is, if you are the white peeker, you usually want to do this with two guys. One of them will be white peeking like this. And fire then as soon as he white peeked, while the other guy will wait for him to white peek and then fire it up, uh, follow it up with another um, gunfire fight. So this usually means that you have a 2v1 and the guy who's sitting here has to fire the guy right there, but also the guy right here. So this means if you're white peeking, you basically want to be prepared to die, but you also want to trade the kill. You definitely want to trade the kill. You don't want to just like, one guy white peeks, fires, dies, and then the other guy is like... Oh, my teammate died. I should close peek. Oh, goddammit. Now I'm dead as well. You may you want to make it a two versus one, not a one versus one, and just go out like one by one. That's not how it works. So if you're white peeking, make sure to coordinate yourself with another teammate. Another good thing about white peeking is you're not standing yourself like in the way of another player who's trying to fire right here or right there. So make sure to combine it with another player or a friend. Another thing is um, close peeking. So... In the, in the beginning I said peeking right here close and just trying to fire is a kind of a stupid idea because you're exposing yourself before you're actually able to see the enemy. The thing now is however in some situations this is actually helpful. So let's say for example we were taking the same spot and you know um, the T's they're just rushing up here and you're a CT so let's jump again and the T's probably smoked this here off so just drop it right there and you're kind of not able to see them anymore. However, you can stay here and you can wait for them. You can uh, try to hear them out for footsteps and when you see or hear them coming, you can run around and try to close peek them. The thing with that is that you kind of have a surprise element on your side, together with the peeker's advantage. In case you do not know what the peeker's advantage is, is basically the way online games work. You have a ping to the server, your PC pings the server, the server pings back to the PC. So for example, if I would be an opera, on T side right here and I would be holding this the common double door spot and I would wait for someone to get here I will just wait and wait and wait and fire usually you should have the advantage because you're already in scope and you're already prepared for the uh, enemy uh, to pop around the corner so you can shoot him however just get out of scope again and get my trusty M4 back if you're close or if you're peeking you will be here before the other guy is able to see you there. It's called a peeker's advantage. Basically, uh, I will probably put an overlay somewhere around here that explains it a little better. But there's a certain ping. So let's say uh, you have 50 ping. It will take 50, about 50 milliseconds until if you're peeking out right here and you see the guy for him to actually see you. That's why sometimes high ping players actually have an advantage on you if they're using the peeker's advantage too. It's full advantage. Well, lots of advantages, I guess. But um, I hope it's clear. So the peeker's advantage really helps you with peeking because as soon as you're getting out, you have a kind of a split second before the other guy is actually able to see you because your animation on his screen will be delayed. So this means that close peeking is actually useful for that. So let's say once again, the T side opper is right here and he's just trying to pick someone off. Like just waiting in scope for there. Usually what will happen is some guy will just jump across right here, another will run there. And usually the guy will pre-aim at around the truck section. If you're a CT and you run up close to this, he won't be prepared for you properly. So close peeking is really about having a surprise element and a peeker's advantage on your side. So if you don't know that, you can just again do it like this. And once again, you have somewhat of a split second before you actually, before the enemy is actually able to see you. So yeah, um, these are basically the different methods of peeking. So to summarize uh, really quickly again, there's shoulder and uh, shoulder and jiggle peeking, just like right, whoops, just like right here for example, which is used to gather intel. If you combine jiggle peeking with firing a weapon, just like the orc, because orc is skillful. <laughs> Uh, you can do that as well. It's very good to use it with pre-fire. Another thing, of course, is white peeking, for example, right here, which you always want to combine with another teammate who is close peeking right here. So just fire... One, uh, <laughs> terrible. One's going out right here, firing like this. The other guy is just close peeking, firing like this. And you have a two, two versus one situation. So that's especially useful on the T side. And last but not least, close peeking. Use the surprise element, especially like on eco pistol rounds or with a SMG or shotgun, you know, close range weapons where you have the advantage. Or make the peeker's advantage, again, 
play for you. Peekers Advantage also of course works for every other scenario, just like right here, basically every type of peeking, because on his screen, on the enemy screen, your movement will be delayed, so you might be actually able to see him first before he's able to before he is able to react to you. This is why you sometimes feel someone is running around the corner and instantly headshots you. That's basically when he's using the peeker's advantage, jiggle peeking, and pre-firing. And sometimes you feel like he shot you before he was around the corner, and that's why you should actually switch spots. But yeah, I think this pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. If you have any more questions, please. Please leave them in the comment section down below and ask me. I will try to answer all of them as always. But thanks for much for now. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, please leave a like and subscribe. And like a skill faker out.